guys, we're going to let you see another fantastic episode here at Kalohi's Kitchen. It's always a joy to have you guys here. And for today, I want us to make something that is sweet and perfect for brunch. And that is a boozy, delicious, fruity French toast casserole. And I'm really excited about getting into it with you guys. To my returning subscribers, Asante Nisana. It's an eternal pleasure to have you guys walk this journey with me. And to my new watchers, I know 100% after this video, I'm going to earn your subscribers. Description. That said, guys, let's get into it and let's make something super delicious. Karibuni. Today I'm happy about filming because I won't career in the kitchen because the process started yesterday. As the title says, this is an overnight French toast casserole recipe. That means the prep started yesterday. The bulk of the work is done the previous day and that means if you're having your friends over for brunch on a Saturday or a Sunday, you have to prep the day before, which makes the work easy on the day of hosting and that is a plus in my book. So to get into the recipe, this is already done and resting, but these are the ingredients I used for this particular recipe. Pretty simple, very easy to make, but guaranteed the explosion of flavor you're going to experience on your palate out of this world. <laughs> so for French toast, we know usually it's just eggs and milk, but at Kaluhi's Kitchen, we take, we take things up a notch. So for this recipe, I'm using milk 100% yes, but the body of the dairy is actually from the whipping cream. Whipping cream is a lot richer compared to just plain whole milk, whole milk and that makes the French toast a lot more richer, a lot more moist and a lot more delicious. Of course, we have our eggs as well. And to spice our French toast casserole, I went with cinnamon and nutmeg. More cinnamon and less nutmeg, but you can vary the ratio according to what you personally prefer. To introduce a bit of fruitiness, I went with blueberries. And then to elevate the flavor, I went with a bit of dark rum. Dark rum really goes so, so well with the sweet dishes you make at home. And it's perfect for this recipe. The dark rum also complements the brown sugar that we use for this recipe and all the flavors we have here will really come together and I'm really excited about this beauty. You can use regular bread for this, however, I recommend you reach out for your brioche or your dejeunette. I use dejeunette for this one and I found mine at the Cafe Bakery. You can also find some at the Art Cafe Bakery, whichever way you go. Any bread will work, but go for brioche or dejeunette. Now let's get into composing our casserole. The first thing you have to do is to slice your bread and then arrange them on your oven-proof casserole dish. Once your bread is arranged, you're going to reach for our fruits of choice and that is our blueberries. I bought my blueberries from Carrefour. There was an offer going and I couldn't let it pass me by. Our went for about 100 bob, so I grabbed some. So to prepare our blueberries, just dump them in a bowl and to that bowl, add some icing sugar and then give them a quick toss. Fit the blueberries in between the bread slices until they're just inserted. It doesn't have to be a perfect fit, just make sure they're inside the bread and they're going to nicely explode while it bakes. The reason why we dust our blueberries with a bit of sugar before baking is to allow them to explode and expand while baking. It's pretty important, so do not skip on it. Once your bread and berries are nice and snuggled in your casserole dish, we go ahead and prepare the wet ingredients and that's also pretty simple. Grab a bowl and in your bowl crack your eggs and then in the bowl pour in your milk and your whipping cream. Add in your brown sugar and then dump in your two spices. Finally, pour in your dark rum and then proceed to whisk. Once everything is combined, we're ready to put everything together and that is also pretty simple. Just drag to the fore your casserole dish that has your bread and berries and then pour the wet ingredients in until everything is in the casserole dish. The exact ingredients I'm going to use for this particular recipe are listed on my blog, Kama Kawaida. However, if you want to vary the ingredients, just keep in mind 
the the casserole should not be too wet because it won't dry adequately during the baking process neither should it be too dry because you don't want to eat so dust as in you want a nice eating experience so balance is key what i would recommend is once you pour it in it should cover it slightly above half that allows the bread to absorb all that goodness and for the baking the next day to be nice and delicious once the wet ingredients are poured in, cover your casserole dish with a cling film and then let this rest overnight in your refrigerator. And here we are the next day with our delicious casserole dish. It's rested overnight and the reason why it's important for you to let it rest overnight is to allow the bread to absorb all those delicious, nice flavors and to allow the flavors within to complexify and really blossom and that will give you a beautiful result at the end of this. Now we are done with the prep. I have walked you through so I hope Mexican. As you can see, my oven has been preheating for quite a while. So what you're going to do next, we're just going to remove the cling film and then place our casserole dish in our oven that's preheated at 180 degrees Celsius and allow our casserole to bake for about 40 minutes. One quick video and a delicious recipe later, we are here with the most beautiful and most delicious French toast casserole. And it's always exciting for me to show you guys that it's so simple to make delicious food right at home. This looks fantastic. My entire neighborhood smells amazing courtesy of what we just baked. And I'm really excited about giving this a taste test. So let's go right in. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is one of the most delicious things I have put in my mouth this entire week. Absolute perfection. Your fork first cracks through the crunchy exterior and sinks into the pillowy pillowy interior. Upon first bite, you can taste the warmth of the cinnamon and the nutmeg. The burst of the fruitiness just explodes in your mouth. The creaminess of the whipped cream really wraps everything together. The booziness of the dark rum does elevate the flavor. And the time with which we used to garnish this added a nice fresh complexity to this and elevated it from zero to a hundred. This is a 10 across the board and I can't wait for you guys to try this out. Don't forget Kamakawaida, the exact recipe consists are on my blog, link on description box. Do try this out, be it for Saturday brunch or Sunday breakfast with your friends and I'm sure, Yanni, I am sure you're really going to enjoy this one. And once you do, snap a pic, tag me on any social media platform, I would really, really love to show you off. If you're yet to subscribe, please do. If you already have, give this video a thumbs up, it helps me with reach. And if you have someone who would benefit from this video, share this video with them because I do think they would really benefit from the deliciousness we've just prepared. I hope you love this video guys. So see you on my next one as well. Bye.